You. Me. Your powers are weak, old man. You should not have come back. Already in progress, my game is. Get away with this, you will not. Also, this is my house. When I left last Saturday, I was but a player. Now I am the game master. Only a master of wait, wait, what? I'm running the game today. Says who? Says this. <laughs> okay, whatever. Huh. Yeah, taking this better than I expected. I'm not the Jedi obsessed nut job in this equation, Darth fanboy. Welcome back to Roleplay Roulette, where we take the bullets for you. Well, we managed to make some fast credits on the galactic black market. We dodged some bounty hunters on Ord Mantel. Even pissed off a hut in Edge of the Empire. And then, like the civic-minded lovers of freedom that... And it's about time we got to wear those comfy robes ourselves. Force and Destiny will let us strap on our lightsabers and wield the living force in the cause of peace and justice. Like the other games in Fantasy Flight Star Wars series, Force and Destiny is set during the dark time following Emperor Palpatine's ascension and the subsequent purge of the Jedi Order. This means that there's no temple on Coruscant, no Jedi Council, and no cavalry coming to save the day. Only a scattered few have survived to train a new generation in the ways of the Jedi, and they are hunted relentlessly by the Empire's sinister agents. The Jedi aren't the only ones that are strong in the Force. Many cultures have their own traditions and disciplines, some wildly different than the Jedi in their approach. Palpatine will brook no challenge to his mastery of the Force, however. All with the gift are considered enemies of the state. Force and Destiny is geared towards detailing the now-vanished Jedi. New careers present many more advanced options for developing Force powers than the token Force-sensitive Exile from Edge of the Empire and the Force-sensitive Emergent from Age of Rebellion. It also contains an expanded array of Force powers, with half a dozen new abilities unique to this book. Heal wounds with the Living Force or burn down enemies where they stand by unleashing Sith Lightning. We haven't mentioned Destiny points much so far. While they're used in all three Star Wars games, they're a bit more integral to this one. Light side Destiny points may be spent to help players succeed or to activate special abilities. The Game Master, however, has the option of spending Dark Side Destiny points to challenge the players and throw complications their way. Once a Destiny point is spent, the ebb and flow of the Force shifts and it flips to the opposite side. Jedi aren't motivated by money or other material concerns, though, so obligation isn't a concept here. Likewise, while many Jedi consider themselves enemy of the Empire, and at least tacitly support the Rebel Alliance, they don't use the rules for duty either. Instead, Jedi must constantly walk a tightrope between the light and dark sides of the Force by maintaining their morality score. Gain too much conflict and you'll lose morality. Lose too much morality and the path to the dark side is a slippery slope. Don't worry though, redemption is tough, but it's not impossible. And besides, black is slimming, right? The shadows are so oppressive that you can almost feel them on your skin. The dark side permeates this place, clawing at your Jedi serenity like Narzak scavengers picking at a dead panther. Well, that's appetizing. As you enter the final chamber, you behold your enemy Darth Faria standing almost reverently before the altar. He reaches for a small device covered in blasphemous sigils. Careful. Remember that run-in back on Sultani 4? He tore through your master like a bag of leaves. Yeah, but this is endgame. We can't let him have that holocron or my terrible vision of the future will come to pass. With a cruel smile, he turns and ignites his sabers. Their scarlet blades hum as he drops into a battle stance. Well, what are we waiting for? How do we engage him? 
Whoa, engage him? Like, get within stabbing range? Are you insane? Wait, this temple is ancient, right? You said it was a crumbling ruin? Yes, it is thousands of years old. Okay, well, we can just pull the ceiling down with the force. Just rip off the support structure. Hey, yeah, let's see him sit his way out of that. I'll use the force to shroud myself and cover them. It's not the showdown I expected, but I admire your chutzpah. Tons of rubble rained down, crushing Darth Varius. It's too much to deflect, so he's crushed under the rubble and buried with the holocron. Ha! Suck it, dark side! Yeah, that ruled. I see the attraction of playing a Jedi now. While they're busy patting themselves on the back, I behead Chana and then force blast Kirin into a wall. Say what? Why in the hell would you just murder me out of nowhere? Because always two there are, a master and an apprentice. But, what, seriously? Yep. Didn't see that coming, did you, Miss Cleo? Are you, are you just going to allow this? Did he even clear this with you? Sorry, buddy. I'm kind of going with the evil Sith thing right now. So I'm going to take a more libertarian approach. Anything that's possible is fair. Oh, that is bullshit. Oh, what? totally. So wait, you're Darth Bad Guy's student? No more. Now I am the master. Call me Darth Malice. So you're in the market for an apprentice, then? Sure, why not? Sounds like an afternoon. Yes. Yes. Complete. Oh, man. So, you know what I love? Star Wars? Playing Jedi. Yeah, you can finally play a Jedi. Are you happy now? So I. Maybe a little. Also lightsabers. Also, also lightsabers. lightsabers. So, yeah. um, My favorite part. So what do we think of the force powers, of the, how the force stuff is I'm implemented? I'm not really sold on the way you roll for your force powers. When you roll, you use a power, and I'm like, what if you're trying to heal a little old lady that fell down trying to cross the street, and you just roll all dark side? I don't like that you can just accidentally be like, whoops, dark side. I just, well, that's, that's dumb. That's a major criticism. I, I, overall, I like the implementation of force and destiny, but that is something that I was amazingly disappointed by. It's funny to me that you can't accidentally fall to the dark side by any means, unless you're a Jedi. The Force powers, I think they did a really good job on. Oh, excellent. And I think that is the absolute most important part That's true. of any Star Wars yeah. game is that they get the Force powers right. Do you know what a group of Jedi is called? Uh. I do not. A jackpot of Jedi. I, I was gonna say it. I was gonna. I was gonna guess a hypocrisy. <laughs> These are the first careers that actually have the lightsaber skill. The lightsaber <laughs> skill did not appear anywhere in Force, uh, Force and Destiny. Or um, I keep Age doing this. Age of Rebellion. Now. Age of Rebellion and Edge of the Empire. Which is weird because I have a shelf groaning under the weight of these books and I can't remember the damn names. Lightsabers. Oh, there's a lot of them to remember. It's true. Lightsabers. I'm only really game. asking you to remember two of them, though, so I think you could probably keep up. Shut up! We're trying to talk about lightsabers! Yeah, I was saying, we're important. trying to talk about lightsabers, and you are inter interrupting me. I, I am. Upsetting. I'll probably do it again. And you probably will. But we should talk about the new game. And it, do I love it. I love the system. What do you think of it? I have a lot of fun with it. There's only one other Star Wars game that I've played that I can actually point out and say, I like this system. I have fun playing this system, and that's the Saga, Saga. Edition. Saga, yeah. And so this is Saga was good. Saga this was one is well. a really, really good like revitalization of the Star Wars RPG. I feel. Scale of one to ten, how hyped are we for Episode Seven? Ten. Eight. I've been hurt before. I'm all the way up to five, and I intended to not go higher than a two. How hyped are you to go see episode seven in a few days, or already seen it, or whatever's going on in your neck of the woods? We're pretty hyped for it. In fact, we're so hyped that we made three of these silly videos about the RPG. I'm gonna link two of them somewhere along the bottom here, so you can go back to episode one or episode two, unless we're talking about the Star Wars prequels, and then you can do that too if you want. I mean, I'm not gonna link to that. I don't really have copyright. That's not gonna do me any good, but you'd probably have fun. Now, we're also going to put a thing up here for you to be able to subscribe, and you can leave us a comment telling us how dumb our opinions of Star Wars are, or how great our opinions of Star Wars are, or how dumb the prequels are, or how cool Ewoks are, or whatever your sinner little heart has to say. Please don't forget to hit like. As for us, we only have one last thing to say to you in parting. May the Force be with you. Always. Always.
guys. Oh, that was fun. Um, I guess we'll play again next week. Um, hey guys, when's the game? Um, uh, about that. Uh, what about game day? Um, it uh, seems that in your exhaustion, you slept through it. <laughs> <laughs>